Welcome to this episode of The Gunman. In this video, we'll be taking you through the paintwork, a little bit of the masking, and also the pre-paint preparation on this Mercedes-Benz C250, painted in Cavanzet Blue Metallic. And the color code for that is 5890. We'll be using Standox solvent-based base coat, and also Standox Crystal Clear Pro over the top of that. So we're just masking it up now. You can see I've gone around all the edges and edge master and then razor blading it out, being very careful that you don't razor blade in too hard and cut into the the next panel and then taping that back down. So for the prep work and the masking you can see that I've sped it up to double speed, chopped a few parts out to stop the video from getting too long. Once we start painting, I'll slow it down to single speed so you can get a bit more of a look at the technique. So, I'm then grabbing a couple of wax and grease removing wipes, which is these white wipes here. Make sure you use a clean area and just pour a small amount onto, a, onto your rag and wipe on. Always make sure we do the blend areas first. We only put in clear and we can wipe over the primed areas last. I'm then making sure I wipe that off correctly. Some people um, don't wipe it off correctly and you'll actually be left with a uh, with film so it's important that you wipe it until the panel is actually visibly dry so there's no more liquid left on there. Next up we'll do the bumper bar as well. Exactly the same as what we did on the quarter panel too. So. Uh, the reason that we're actually masking up this um, moulding on that bumper bar is because the um, insurance company won't allow the approximate $500 which it costs for a new one and removing those mouldings you will actually break them. Trust me, I know because I've pulled one out before and broken it. Which, um, they will not allow for it so um, we are forced to mask them up. So I'll take you through the masking on that too. We've got this uh, blue vinyl tape, which is this stuff here. So it's plastic rather than the, um, the paper tape that we use on the rest of the car. Just careful you get it right on the line. So being that it's plastic, it's going to uh, leave a smaller edge that's thinner. Less chance of getting a, um, a funny edge once you unmask it. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Check out my other vids. I've got loads of videos uploading three a week these days. I'm doing my best to upload three a week. Questions, comments are always welcome. Shoot them in the comments box below. I'll do my best to answer every question. I actually dedicate about half an hour of every day to answering people's questions. So. You're more than welcome to ask questions and I'll do my best to get back to them. So once we've got that done, and then wiping down this airline, little stuff like that makes big differences when it all adds up. So uh, using the high pressure air, wiping it down three or four times. You do that an extra time, it's not going to hurt, and sometimes it can make all that difference. I always used to just do it once and I decided to start doing it over it twice instead of once and found my job coming out a lot cleaner so going over every part two or three times is never going to be a bad thing. The way I see it as well is that you've spent so much time on your prep work you may as well slow down on that final stage it's actually going to make it so you get less dust in the, in the job it's going to make it look better and uh, make it so that you've got less uh, polishing as well, which nobody really likes polishing. So you can see this colour covers extremely well. Most of the, the blues and the darker colours on the standoff solvent range do cover quite well. Sometimes it's just the silvers, the reds and the greens that you really get the poor coverage issues with. And uh, the course of the silver, the worst, uh, the worst the coverage is going to be. Finer silver is usually pretty good. So I've got the booth uh, up to about 30 degrees. I like to get it nice and warm. It speeds the job up, enables you to get those base coats and base coat on quicker. I missed out the prep work on this job. I also missed out the colour matching. But if you'd like to see videos covering those kind of things, uh, 
check out through my channel. I've got loads of videos. And I've also just uploaded a video on a workshop tour, so make sure you check that out. It's just a full work walk around the workshop that I work in, the panel shop and the paint shop and the detailing area, so I'm pretty happy with that one. So you can see we're, we've already got the coverage now. And I'm using the Zorbis GTI Pro Light with the HVLP air cap, which is what I usually like to use on my base coat. HVLP means you get a lot of paint on there and um, you get quite better coverage rather than using the, uh, the conventional air cap. I've actually got a new gun coming out next week from Iwata and sending me out one of the, their brand new guns. So I'm looking forward to getting that and I'll be making a review and demonstration on that gun as soon as it comes out. So we're doing our blend over this quarter panel now, so just take note that I'm not going up anywhere near the front of the quarter panel or the boot lid, so that once we clear over that, you won't see any colour difference. So for the clear coat, I'm using the Pro Light with the PE20 air cap on it. I use this uh, on most of my jobs these days just for a clear coat gun and that's not because you can't use it for a base coat gun, they're actually quite a good versatile all rounder gun, uh, these Pro Lights, but um, I like to uh, keep a uh, dedicated clear gun because sometimes if you can do a uh, solid colour but you're using clear over base um, and you've used uh, this gun for metallic then you might get a couple of specks of metallic coming through on a black solid colour and um, it can ruin the job. I had it happen once or twice and as soon as I saw it I decided no nah, I'm, um, I'm going to get a dedicated clear gun and that was a while ago, it was probably about five years ago now. It turned out that no one else actually saw it but I saw it and I didn't like it so I decided to do something about it. And uh, most painters these days have dedicated clear guns. Not everyone, but most painters do. Pretty uh, basic setup on this gun. Um, so you wind the fluid needle right in, and then come out three turns is what I set it at this time. Um, two and a half, three turns is a pretty good uh, setting for it. And open the fan right up and you set your pressure to about 25 psi um, which is a little bit lower than what you would have if you're using the HVLP air cap which uh, for a long time to be honest it didn't even make sense to me or well, I would say why do you use more pressure with a HVLP isn't, isn't that mean high volume low pressure then why are you using more pressure but the basic slide behind it is that they're saying there's high volume, so for the amount of volume that's coming out, it's low pressure. So it, it really didn't make sense to me for a while, but it, it does now. So. That, what we're doing there, was just, we're just doing a blend up that pillar there. Um, same thing, insurance companies don't allow for us to paint the entire pillar up there, so we don't get paid for it when I'm going to do it, unfortunately. Um, so we just do a blend and we'll then polish that out the next day, let it dry. And we're doing our last coat on the bumper bar. So in between coats, I would have given that a good five minutes. Um, also, that's obviously going to depend on temperature and stuff like that. So if it's uh, above 30 degrees, you may only need to wait for two or three minutes. Um, I also like to wait in the booth as well. I've found uh, going out inside the workshop where there's people sanding and blowing stuff off with air, air blowers and there's dust and contaminants out there, um, you can end up dragging them back inside the booth and they'll end up landing in your panel. So I've found you get much nicer jobs if you're just uh, able to stay in the booth um, and take everything in there with you. Occasionally I do have to go out, but um, try to keep it to a minimum if possible, which is another reason it's good to have the, the temperature set up so you're not actually sitting around and waiting too much in between coats. And uh, although some
sometimes for the base coat you may blow a little bit of air over the um over the base coat you would not want to do that on your clear coat so yeah that's um just let it dry naturally so next up we've got a, a quick look at the car we've got a at the end we've got a, a good look at the car once it's finished as well so it's quite clean got the standard one or two bits of dust in it polish them out the next day without too many issues just do a spot buff on them and the job's done a couple of links to a couple of um, my other videos at the very end here check them out if you haven't already seen them it's actually the transformation of my own car, XF Falcon, into a race car. I've been uploading a video every Sunday, so check them out if you've missed them. Check out my channel too. Loads of videos there. Thanks for watching, and this has been another Gunman production. Goodbye.